So welcome to everyone who is joined me for this unboxing. I really appreciate the hype up in the chat. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, for anyone who's wondering why, anyone who's wondering in my Twitch chat or on YouTube why I'm dressed up as a hot dog, um, it's because we're currently in the middle of a charity month, and uh, I have I have mandated myself through everyone's wonderful donations to wear this incredible outfit for the whole month. So. Um, thank you to everyone who's donated and if anyone, anyone wants to check out the rest of the charity stream month then feel free to join me on my twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash crazy hazy um, who have people in chat right here who are very who are very incredible so thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching this video so what i am here to do today everyone in chat and on the video i am going to be uh, unboxing the lords of the fallen uh, 2023 version uh, of the game uh, which was released today the 13th of october and uh, I've, I've ma I wasn't planning to get this initially, but I thought it'd be really cool to have. And then I had an incredible donation from my good friend, Admiral Awesome, who uh, sent across a significant amount of cash, which was very kind of him, um, and has allowed me to, to purchase this, um, which, is, is, which is incredible. So hype up in the chat and hype up in the video for um, Admiral Awesome making this happen and, and, and kind of just kicking me to do it, <laughs> which was very kind. So thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Much love. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. Um, I, I love how Rufinus in chat has just said, I feel like I have to be quiet in the school assembly. No, you don't. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. I love that. Anyway, um, here it is, chat. Look at this. Look at this incredible box. Oh, <gasps> shiny. <laughs> so nice i'm very very look at it so when i when i opened up just the the outer box earlier i was just like wow that, that that is an incredible front which i love it's just really really nice and if we look at the back i got the ps5 version of the game so ps5 um and it's I, you know what I, ha I actually haven't looked in much detail i know there's a statue in here but i haven't actually looked in much detail about what is inside it so i'm looking forward to seeing what the the details say um some reviews here for extra life which is great to see for extra life is a is an incredible streamer on twitch as well and doing lots of arpg uh, stuff and um uh ign saying it's a, f a first true next gen souls like nice um as bearer of the umbral lamp embark on an epic journey through the lands of the mornstorn in your quest to overthrow the demon god will your legend be one of light or darkness overcome colossal boss battles in a range of unique combat encounters travel between the two coexisting worlds the realm of the living and the realm of the dead and there we go so there's the back of the of the box if you want to have a look as well with all the information and here we go with the front if you want to see it as well chat there you go shine it's very nice it's very very cool so there we go so yeah let's let's open it shall we uh, i've got my trusty scalpel which will help me open this today um, and I'm playing the soundtrack in the background as well. It's going to be a bit of a... There we go. Ooh. There we go. Trusty scalpel. This is the hazy scalpel for unboxings. Like... Oh, look at that. Very nice. Let's pop this over here. We don't need that. We don't need that anymore. Lords of the Fallen Collector's Edition. It's very shiny. It's got a symbol of crucifix on the side of it with some more artwork there very very nice also the reviews for this game have been incredible I've seen so far so I'm very excited to play it in November I'm not playing this as part of the spoopy month but I will be playing it in November so if anyone wants to see any gameplay that's when I'll be playing it Okay, are we ready? Looks awesome. So shiny. I know, right? It's awesome. It's so good. Right, here we go. <gasps> oh. Let me just turn this on its side because we've got it the right way around now. Oh, look at this. Let's give it a good opening. There we go. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> wow. Let's open this up. Let's pull this out. Is this like a stack? Oh, it's got like a... It's, got, it's like a stand. It looks like a stand. Oh, here's the game. Let's get the game out first. So here's the game. PS5 version of the game, as you can see. Get that installed as well. For playthrough later. You're not going to play it offline either? No, I'm going to play it only on stream. So I, 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 some games that I get for specifically for stream, um, because I've become a massive fan of Souls-likes, um, I'm going to play this on stream. So this will be sitting 
on the pile, as in the game, will be sitting on the pile for probably a good two or three weeks before I come back um, after spoopy month. So I need to finish Lies of P first, and then I'll probably play this afterwards. So a couple of games to finish before we do that as well. Um, but there are some games I play off stream as well, so I, I keep some stream, a game for stream and some for not stream. What is this? Okay, so I don't know what this is, chat. Is this a poster? Well, there's a, there's a, um, I think some lore, which I'm going to read out in a sec. Some lore. So I think it's a poster. Okay, I'll read it out to you soon. Tancred and Reinhold. While conjoined twins, Tancred and Reinhold embody but one anatomy. The righteous zealot, Tancred, holds sway. As chaplain of the order and master of casti castigations, he restrained the heretical, heretical brothers' manipulation of the flesh since their accursed birth. In time, Reinhold grew better and corrupted, his festering ire manifesting upon Tancred's body. There you go. I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> but well, I guess we'll find out in the game when we play it at some point. Let me open this up first, so let me have a look. Oh, 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 wow, chat. <gasps> what are these? Oh. Okay, so there's... Do you want me to read all of these? Should I read all of these? I'll read all of these. Why not? There's actually three of them. Plus, use a manual for display case, light, and remote control. There's a light in this? Chat, there's a light in this. Use a manual for display case, light, and remote control. No way. There's a remote control in here somewhere. I'll, I'll find it in a bit. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me read. Let me read the um. Let me read the rest of these law. I feel like I've got cue cards. They've even got um pictures on the back. As well from the game. Just read show you the one from the other one. Okay. I mean the bosses look cool. That looks like a bloodborne boss, which is awesome. Anyway, let me read this to you. The congregator of flesh. The horrific truth behind this congregator of flesh resides within the Tower of Penance. A place where prisoners of the hallowed sentinels su suffer horrific tortures. This gargantuan creature now haunts the underbelly of Mornstead, awaiting those who hurled into the abyss in the name of purification. I'm guessing this is Red Cops. Red Cops. For centuries, Red Cops was the first destination for pilgrims heading to the Empyrean. But when the indomitable uh, Rogar spewed forth upon this world. Its villages were defenseless against such rage and savagery. The few survivors were forced to bend to the will of Edir, such corruption outwardly manifesting over time, thus rendering them unrecognizable. There we go. There's some lore. Stuff I do not yet understand. I don't know what this is. Is this a poster? This looks like a poster. Too, far too many teeth. <gasps> Wow, look at that. Oh, the, the, the material is really nice on this. Okay, let's turn this sideways. So there's two there's two versions of the poster. There's this version, which is kind of the main... Oh, I've turned upside down. It's turned upside down. This is the, the, uh, the, the kind of main art of the game. Then you've also got this incredibly cool knight as well. It's very nice. It's very nice. Welcome in, uh, Thieving Patipus. Welcome in, buddy. Where do I start next? So let's go. Let's let's pull out this thing. So I didn't realize there was a light in this. Some really cool art there. Yeah, I agree. It's very, very nice. Okay, here we go. Actually, should I pull out? I should probably pull out the whole thing. This is this is incredible. I was not expecting um a light case. And apparently it takes batteries. Here we go. I've got it. Oh, it's heavy. God, that's heavy. Right, let's move that over here. Look at that. Oh, 
Very cool. Let's take off this. Oh my god, is, is it like actual metal? There's like actual metal. This is a metal. This is a metal tin. I did not know this was going to be happening. Actually, before we do that, let me show you. It's it's a metal tin. How cool is this? So there's this is actually made of metal. So there's there's uh, art on the side as well. See the shine from the metal there. Very cool. Lots of the fallen collector's edition at the top there. And then you've also got artwork at the back. And then you've got some more there. Oh, it's so incredibly shiny. Right, let's take out the this plastic here from the statue. Actually, let's take out these things first. I wonder if these are going to restrict it. So we've got a metal case for the game itself. I do love the metal versions of games. Some really cool artwork on there as well. Very nice indeed. Let's pop that over there. Whoops. Pop over there with the, uh, the stuff. Pretty, right? It's really nice. There's also an official art book. Lords of the Fallen there. Well. Again with crucifix on the back. I'll see if I can give you kind of a, a flick through. Very nice. Oh, and look at this! Another remote to add to my ever-growing collection of remotes with RGBs. <laughs> very cool. Oh, oh, I think it has a battery in it already, which is very cool. And even, you know what's really cool about it? It even has a label on the back saying Lords of the Fallen as well. It means I don't have to label it, which is great. <laughs> I don't have to, Chopper. Look, I've got a label on the back of it. That has the Laws of the Fall. I don't need to label it, which is great. But I do label my uh, remotes, just in case. 11 out of 10 remotes, exactly. Well, I've got def there's, it feels like it. I've got a whole load of them over here. Um, but you could if you wanted. I could, Lex. I could. I have a, I have a wonderful label maker because of your very generous kindness. Um, so, chat, should we go on to the main event, which seems to be this incredible statue? I'm trying to work out how I'm going to take this out. It seems like a bit of a challenge. Wow. <laughs> Some assembly required. So there's some bits as well. Some bits that I need to add to the character. I wonder how I construct this. <laughs> um, so we've got this thing, which seems to be some sort of sword, which I think, I think goes here, which I'll show you in just a moment, chat. Like so. There's more to put on before I before I finish that. Because there is also this, which is the umble lamp from the game. It looks like it has a tongue. <laughs> it's really funny. Swish. Oh, that was definitely not on as well as I'd hoped. There we go. Get on there. There we go.
There's enemies here, which are very cool. It's very nice, chat. Oh, I keep... I, I, that lamp definitely has a way to be put on, I guess, so I will fix that later. Um, and then, as I said, there's storage for it. There's storage here. So what I can do is I can put in the art book at the bottom, just here. Like that. And then the metallic case right here. Like that. So there we go. That's what that looks like. And then there's some artwork in, artwork in the background as well. I think. Okay, so there we go. And then I think I can put this without knocking the lamp off, which I will attach later. There we go, that's better. And I'll just put it on there. Whee! And there we have it. Very cool. Where's my new remote? Let's give it a go. We read the instructions that I don't need to read. <laughs> Anyway, chat, that's the unboxing. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will, as I said, get some footage of the light somehow. I don't know how I'll do it. But, um, yeah, I'll put it in I'll put it in there at some point uh, in the video so you can have a look. Um, but it's very cool, chat. And um, thank you so much to Admiral Awesome for supporting me in buying this. It's, it's an incredible... It's incredible... Um, it's just... It's, it's made... Like, this metal isn't... <laughs> Amazing. Um, um, I, the lamp can just stay there. I'm going to leave it there for now. But yeah, thank you so much to Admiral Awesome for supporting me and getting this. I really appreciate it, buddy. That's very kind of you. Hype up in the chat. Very, very kind. All right, I'm going to pop this back on. The, I'm going to put this on the shelf. 